Your future boyfriend yeah. will be very lucky. That means a lot. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cooking up a gourmet dish for y'all. Made a lot of improvements in the last month. You can say I'm a, pretty much a pro by now. <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're making an Italian steak and pasta! Let's get it, let's get it! The idea behind today is that last video when Coco was teaching me, it was more for myself. This is for date night. Oh, yeah. that's why we're upgrading. How to impress any girl with your cooking? I can safely say that I have never. You have, you have never impressed a girl? I tried. Okay, you're gonna make a video when you cook it for your date? <laughs> um, oh man. Yeah. Okay, learn it first. Okay, okay, How let me, uh, learn it first, let me know? take one step. Yeah, yeah think about it, think about it. Okay. What if you're the date? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a no. <laughs> she just sputtered. Okay, I just well, got friends on, so. What just happened? Um, <laughs> the first thing that you need to do, we're gonna get some paper towels. So we need to get the blood out of the thing, okay. right? Of the steak. Okay, now we're gonna very generously mm. salt the steak. Okay. Because you don't want your steak to be under salt. It's not something that you can just like add more salt later. Mm. So what we do is like you just kind of imagine you're like putting like makeup on it. Okay. So we go. I don't know if that makes it more relatable for me, but. <laughs> I don't know why I used that example, but. <laughs> you go ham. Oh, that is a lot of salt. You can go ham. Okay. It feels like a lot until you start cooking it, right? Mm -hmm. Cushion foundation. Okay. <laughs> okay, great, nice. Why? Well, what's the reaction? Surprise. <laughs> No, but you've seen those Instagram reels where these guys are like half naked in their apron. Yeah. And they just start slapping me. Yeah. And it works. Oh, nice. Would you ever get to a point of your content creation <laughs> where you have to be half naked wearing an apron? If you got it and you are confident. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, it's a picture. Very high quality phone. Mm. <laughs> a little bit less than half. We want. We don't want too much butter. Smooth like butter. K-pop dentist for real. All right. <laughs> yes. And then once you have the butter, mm -hmm. you have. You can use a spoon. <laughs> like I said, butter. You can like butter. Butter. Like a criminal undercover. Oh. You put the Strange girl. butter thing. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> what did you say? I said cool girl. <laughs> wow, this is actually a very attractive shot right now. Oh yeah. Of you like. It's like the only. I, I just feel like. Why are you so surprised? Oh, because I've never. You've never <laughs> seen me in an attractive life. <laughs> <laughs> very sexy shot of this because it looks wow. really good. Oh, God. Basically, I'm married. I'm, I'm gonna get married. So all these years, this was the only reason. Stopping you from getting married. I think so. I have no excuses. You're missing now. a steak tutorial. It's not just a steak. It's this whole concept. Mm. Like I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. Okay. Oh mm, my god. Leave the juice so we can cook um the asparagus as well. Oh, you're so smart. Thanks. Smart Ask cookie. Me. She's a smart cookie. All right, everyone, let's play a game. There's something in my kitchen that uses the same technology as hospitals do to sanitize their room surfaces. Hint, it emits UVC rays. If you guessed the Lark Pure Vis water bottle, you are the winner. And with that said, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of today's video, Lark. The Pure Vis cap on my Lark water bottle eliminates up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses that can grow in both the water and in the water bottle. There's also a flip top version that comes in different sizes and colors and with customizable add-ons for your filtration needs. When it comes to something that I use more than 10 times a day, it's nice to know that I have the most hygienic product on the market. If you'd like to get one yourself or for your gym buddy, feel free to use my link in the description. Thanks for staying tuned. Thank you to Lark for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. 
Your boyfriend, your future boyfriend, yeah. will be very lucky. That, that, that means a lot. Maybe there's something, and maybe a secret that I haven't revealed. Like maybe, no, I'm joking. But people are like, is there something like really weird about you? Do you think that you have a red flag? I think so. What is that? Mm, I think I am very high expectations. That's is that a red, red flag? flag? It's a red flag. I'm really harsh on people. Oh, you know I mean? but are you not a okay, what, compromising okay. person? Can you give me a, I am, I am, but like, Wait, can you give me an example of a red flag? I mean, this is from a guy's perspective. Yeah, okay. It takes things for granted. I, I think it's, ah. we get it. We know that there are certain like customs that guys have to follow. Yeah. But our feelings matter too. Yeah, of course. No, I agree though. I feel yeah. like it's not fair for a certain party to always give more. But I think a lot of people are okay with that because they feel good. But it's how the recipient mm. makes you feel too. Like you, there's certain things that you can say yeah. or certain gestures that you can make that can make I that I do have a question though Yeah. because I used to like be very adamant on like not expecting too much from the guy okay. or like not letting okay even when I go on dates mm. sometimes I'm like oh let's just like split it also like if they offer to hold myself I say no I'm just but I think oh because you're naturally guy, independent that's why I guess so but according to some guy friends they're like from their perspective, it's like this girl is so not interested in me because she's like not giving me the opportunity to okay. display my kindness or like, right. you know, like, because I do naturally friends on people. Even you do naturally friends on people. I, I think it's, I think so. Even if you're interested. I don't know if I'm interested. Like, I'm really bad at identifying. Okay, this is I'm interested in this person, or they're a cool friend. What do you think cuts the? Line? I think there's a very clear line. Clear line between a romantic feeling and a and a feel good friend feeling. It's a different kind of excitement. Uh, maybe half. The thing is, alcohol evaporates. True. It just adds a lot of flavor to. Is that enough? Yeah. If you're making this, ideally you use vodka. Uh huh. Uh, but we're Asian. Asian. <laughs> I love it. Hashtag Asian. This is the first time I've ever used heavy cream in my life. Really? Yeah. Are you okay with these things though? Yeah, I'm learning. Okay. I'm learning. Right. Would you say all these steps are essential, or if it's, um, if you don't have it, not a big deal, or what? Honestly, everything is compromisable, right? Okay. Uh, that's the art of cooking. Mm. I don't like following recipes, but I think certain things do pair better with. Others. Okay, I see. The beauty of pasta is that you have a lot of pasta water as well. You don't have to drain it. This is perfect. Wait, is this a chance for me to flex while I'm cooking? Yes, yes. You're really setting me up well for your date. It is heavy. Incredible. <laughs> Guys, look at this. And you made it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How's your arm doing? It's still wonderful. Hasn't ever been better. Oh, good. Did you work out today? Today? I didn't have time. But if your date asks, you say yes. I'm not gonna lie. You don't lie. You want to save some, so if she wants seconds, you can be like, I got you. I am the second. Oh. <laughs> Alright, before that, take pictures. How Before awesome is this? <laughs> good job. Thank you, chef. Oh my gosh, this is so good too. I might cry. Are you you asked me when the last time I cried was. It might be today. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time? Someone made your heart flutter. Flutter? <laughs> heart flutter. Butterflies. Had feelings for each other? Mm. She dropped off some food she had prepared in like a toshira mm. thing. And then she dropped it off with my doorman. After a long day of work, I came home to that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so sweet. It was very thoughtful. Very clear love language for me. Mm. I was gonna ask. Both giving and receiving yeah. is um, active service. service. I grew up in that kind of like household as well. It was a very warm, like touching gesture. Mm. Based off our conversation, right? Yeah. People say that you usually get attracted to two types of people in the experience. The first one is like the spicy chicken noodle, the, the instant noodle. It's very. <laughs> it, <laughs> the instant, oh, okay. It has to be the instant one. 
You know, the one that's convenient, fast, delicious, but mm. like spicy, you mm -hmm. know? Like it's intense. And at, when you're young, that's all you want, you know? You want to challenge yourself too. But then there's also the second type, a chicken soup noodle. It looks like it's really bland, right? But you know, it's nutritious mm. and it's good for you. And it's nourishing. But when you're young, younger, you're usually attracted to that spicy chicken noodle guy or girl. You know? <laughs> Someone that would like, take shots, you know, go go out with you mm -hmm. and just like very young energy. And young energy in the ideal world. There might be someone that's both. Right. I get a dosage of the the yeah. spice. Yeah yeah yeah. You get the spice. But it's not only about the spice. Mm -hmm. It's a deeper broth. It's a deeper broth. <laughs> There's the <laughs> You see the true foodie. Everything is, can be related to You're like getting emotional right yeah. now over your chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup and... Don't cut off. Cheers! We had a good conversation about life only made possible through your cooking. And your hard work. I feel like a new person. Really? Yeah. Well, From I could never imagine myself, even last year, mm. doing this right now. But hey! New adventures, mm -hmm. never too late to start something never that you want to try. I hope we can inspire your viewers too. Especially people who've been watching me live like a total caveman. Mm -hmm. They're like, wow, if you can do it, I yeah. can try something new too. Yeah. So cool. try it. If there's anything that you wanted to do, go for it. Bam! Peace. Peace.